Hello and welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Right, I have just slept guys, so it is time for... Uh... It's alright, I'm trying to figure out why I'm not moving and I'm not in gear. So that will be why. So we have a full tank of fuel, but we need to go back to the dealership. I don't know if we're actually going to have enough money to do this. Um, I hope so. I do, I do genuinely hope we've got enough money to to do this, okay. uh, Here we this go. Mercedes side of things. We, but we do only have one hundred twenty-two thousand pounds. Now that is a lot of money. But on this game, when you're talking about a quarter of a million pound trucks, that's still not Turn enough. Left. But it might be enough to buy the more basic Mercedes with an engine in it. Get ready we want, we want to, to have, turn left. We want to have some engine. We need some power. But that doesn't mean that we can turn afford left. the big one, you know what I mean? Um, we have the big engine in the Volvo, don't get me wrong. Get ready and this to is going to joy to drive, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, we need to basically look at the Mercedes. Turn left. That's kind of what we need to do today. So we're going to look at that and then we'll see what little jobs there is. Because I don't really know how long it's going to take to go through this Turn right. uh, truck picking and stuff. You know, then we'd have to hire a driver and stuff as well. And it turns into a little thing, doesn't it, at the end of the day. But let's Recompute. go and have a look. Let's see. Oh, I stalled then. Let's go and see what we can afford. Now, we need a brand new truck. We could go second hand, but I don't see the point. Um, so that is the cheapest Mercedes there is. And it is £101,000. That is Hyru. To be honest with you, we could just go for... Low roof sleeper. Let's just have a look what we've got. Low roof sleeper. Um, obviously, we'd have the paint job on. So we do. Oh yeah, that's the, that's right. If I remember rightly, the Mercedes. Yeah, I remember now. I needed to contact the guy who did my skin because he messed this one up. I nearly swore then. He messed this one up. Yeah, that's why I couldn't... Ha yeah, I remember looking at that one now. So we can't have the low sleeper. Let's just have a look at this one. See if this one fits. Yeah, I remember I remember now doing it. Yeah, this one. This one's fine. That one's fine. So, this would be £101,000. Now, we would need to have um, a 6 speed gearbox... So that is not an option. That has to be an option, sorry. Then we would need to have 578, looks like the best one. The, these are all unrealistic engines. Although there is a OM7, £119,000 there. It does give us a sat nav, so that's not too bad. Let's have a look. Tires would be the next thing we want. We always want to put tyres on. Always. They just help with cost. £121,000. How much money? We've got 122000 So we do have enough to buy the... Um, yeah, we, we don't have enough to put the, the side panels on. That That's for sure. We don't have enough money for them. So that would have to not be a thing. That's a shame. That's the one thing we're missing. Just going to have a quick look at that and have a look at that. Yep, everything is on there. So, yeah, we can afford this Mercedes. It's £121,000. It does leave us with next to nothing. Um, 4x2 chassis, so just kind of what we've been on for a little while now. Uh, 625 brake horsepower, so it's not the end of the world. It's a, It's got relatively good power still. And we've got the seven to yeah, we could you could save a thousand pounds by doing that, but I think a thousand pounds doesn't really save us much. 
Can we just do mirrors to paint by any chance? Yes, we can put painted mirrors. I do like painted mirrors just to make it look a little bit more. But that that puts us over our limit. We can't afford we we can't afford painted door handles. Um, I tell you what, we might just forget about the mirror for now because I haven't decided what truck we're going to buy for our worker yet. I really want them. Tell you what, we're going to do it. Ooh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Do you want to drive your new truck? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. I don't. Right, my home is in Nuremberg. Finding a new There route. we go. Oh my god. We will take your old one to your garage in Nuremberg right away. Yes. Wow. I didn't get all the options I would have liked. I would have definitely have liked a few different options. Side panels, door, door handles, things like that. But we just ran out of money. So this is, this only leaves us with the daft left to do. I like that. I like that. That was nice. That was very nice indeed. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to do something and it didn't work. Um, right, so my next option then, so we've done that, is driver manager. I don't believe I can hire a driver. I believe I'm now officially too poor to hire a driver. I have £24 in the bank. £24. Uh, we've got an Ella. She looks good. She's got two for the eco driving, so she'd look after the Volvo really well. The women do seem to drive the... You do not have enough money. So we currently have a van or a truck sat doing nothing. It is literally doing us nothing. So we need to get a little job done so we can hire a worker. Um, that would have been a good job to do, but it's a little bit too much now. That would have been fantastic. Van distance 228 miles. That's a good job. £12,000. The majority of this is going to be done by ferry. We'll go into Spain to Barcelona again. We'll drive up the coast into Montpellier. That looks like a pretty decent job. I'm just going to... Just having a quick look. Oh, we could do a little bit... No, that's... No, it's fine. It's fine. That's wrong. That would take that's that would be that would be enough to get us a driver. Le Mans. <laughs> um now these are not these are not paying as well. So no, I think we do the Montpellier job. It's fragile, it's not a quick it's like it has to be delivered quickly, and it's only 228 miles. So it's only a small job, but it's enough to get us a worker. Then at the end of this job we can hire another worker basically. And get a worker in the Volvo. So let's do this. Let's go. Eek! We've got another truck, guys. We've got another truck. We've only got daft to do. I do believe we've only got daft to do. Uh, might have Turn to adjust left. the mirrors later on. Go straight on. Yeah, the dashboard on this truck just looks so Turn freaking left cheap. And this, then continue straight on. The dashboard on. in this Mercedes. This is the Mercedes I. Didn't want Go to buy. straight on. Because for me, I feel like turn right. The, the dashboard in this Mercedes reminds me of the very first Iveco we bought with a cheapy plastic dashboard. At the roundabout. That's how I've always felt. Exit. I've always felt that about this truck. But if you care to notice, guys, we have got twenty-four pound in the bank. Twenty-four. That's it. Twenty-four. If a worker comes in now and pulls in a job brilliant if a worker screws up and loses me money we are technically bankrupt now. until we finish this job but we have to Keep be careful left, here guys and then turn left you know the aim of the game is not to be in the red but turn it left. was a it was an investment opportunity while we we're at the sky okay turn i left. could have 
not got some upgrades. I could have got a smaller engine. You have I arrived could have at your destination. not got the mirrors. Your I could have not got the tyres. But they're things you only have to buy once. Do you know what I mean? So let's have a look. So we're going to do the Montpellier run. Let's go. I'm not even going to mess around. It's right there in front of us. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, all we have to do now is the dash. That is all we've got left to do a thousand mile in, but once we've done a thousand mile in this old course. Drive safe. 587 miles, but the majority of it is done by ferry. So this will, like I say, just pull us in. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Problem. We don't have enough money to get on the bloody ferry. Turn right. I've just thought about Turn that. Right. We might not have enough money to get on the ferry. I didn't think about that. Please, worker. Please, worker. At the ramp, Some worker, please. Take the second exit. Pull in and finish your job. Give me some money. I don't want to take a bank loan just to get on the bloody exit ferry. Exit now. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Please just put me in the red until I can deliver this. Put it, we'll work it on a credit card. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Keep right. We don't and have then enough exit money. Right. I never even thought about the ferry. It, it never once crossed my exit. mind about the right. ferry. It never once crossed my mind about the ferry. I've got to have money to get on the ferry. We might have to sleep in the ferry dock until a driver pulls in a wage. Or pulls in a, you know, a, a job. Which might then make this delivery late in the Mercedes. I never, never thought about it. Jesus. Hmm. That's not good. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't think about the ferry. And like I said, we're not selling a truck. We, we like, uh, yeah, I've, I've re We messed up, guys. We messed up. We are. We are officially Go bankrupt. Go straight on. I'm, that's how I'm seeing it. We're officially bankrupt. That is not good. We are officially the United States government. <laughs> Although I I say that because I saw I was reading an article. I was reading an article about half past six this morning on how the US government was nearly bankrupt to summer a couple like last month or summer, something to do with budgeting or summer. And yet, apparently, 6.2 billion in military budgets gone missing. Like, I say missing, they basically don't want to admit where they put it on. Crap, I'm in the wrong lane here. But yeah, it's it's a weird one because like you're moaning you've got no money for like your country, but you misplaced 6.2 billion dollars somewhere. At the round <laughs> I wish I was that exit. kind of skin. Oh, oh, I'm so skinned. I'm down to my last 6.2 billion. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that would be absolutely crazy. I tell you now, right? If I was a multi-millionaire, yeah, I can tell you now, I would be doing my bit to help people. I, I, I've said this many, many times before. Vets, to start with. I know a lot of them At still the roundabout, choose to be on the, the streets because they can't or a struggle to fit back into civic life, basically. Exit now. But if you had, like, somewhere for just a bunch of military guys, at, at the least route, together, the they could exit. treat it like a mini, like a little mini barracks, do you know what I mean? And exit be now. able to try and slowly enter, you know what I mean? Because when you come out of the military, it, it's just a case of, you sign your paperwork. And out you go, basically. There's no Turn left. slow reintegration and stuff like that. And yeah, it's. I would definitely. That would be one thing I would try to At do. At the roundabout. Um, Take the second well, exit. Would, if I was a multimillionaire, that is something I would do. It wouldn't be something I'd try to do. It would be something I did. Exit now. 
There is no rest point around here, guys. We can't get, get on this ferry. To turn I'm right. telling you now, we cannot get on this ferry. Turn right. We cannot get on this ferry with no money. We're going to have to take a bank loan. Now, I only originally didn't want to do any bank loans, but we ended up taking one just to buy a used truck. But I've, I can't believe I've done it. I, I should have left myself a thousand pound in the bank. But I was like, oh no, I'll, I'll, it's fine, we can do this. And then I completely forget I'm on an island. I can't do it. I can't travel. I can't afford to travel. Never mind. I'll find a new route. You've let me travel with no money. Turn right. We have £9,000 in the bank. Put, give me one second, guys. Give me one second. Your account is overdrawn. Yes. We have provided you with a short-term credit for the next few days free of... Oh. Okay, okay. I didn't know that was a thing. I've never been in the <laughs> never been in the rent before on this game. Your account overdraft has been settled. So I have had a worker pull in with a job. Now I do just want to double check what worker that was that has just rescued me. It was not her. That must mean it was Emmanuel. Yes, it was. No, it can't. It can't have been, because that's six. It has to have been. Okay, they've clearly both come in. Boric Acid to Grimsby. Well, from Grimsby to Lil Hammer. That has to come in, and so does the other guy. It must have been. It must have been that way. Um, recruitment agencies. While I'm parked here, then, guys, just at the ferry, let me look at hiring this woman. So she's got two for the fuel economy. That's all I'm really interested in at the moment is the fuel economy side of things. Um, she is the best at the moment when it comes to uh, the fuel economy side of things. Everybody else has got one one for the fuel. So yeah, she is, she is the best of what I'm looking for at the moment. And if she's going to be driving the Volvo, I feel like the fuel economy is a good thing because she can save about 25%. Right, you're going to have to come and work in... Um, yeah, Nuremberg, with me. So you're going to come and work for me, literally, in the same place as me. So yeah, that is fantastic. So being on the ferry, say, basically covered the bills. Now that was really, really good. So I'm really happy about that. I didn't think it was going to take the second exit. Do that though. I am. I am very surprised at that. Don't mind if you can hear my dog in the background. She's decided she's going to eat her own foot. <laughs> Exit now. And she's like, rah, 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 you know. But yeah, if it does, if it does pick her up, yep, that's what she's doing. She's eating her own foot because apparently three pot pies, a sausage roll, and a bowl full of her own kibble or dry food um, wasn't enough for her because she's a greedy pig. Yeah. Greedy pig, you know your nickname, don't you? At the roundabout, okay. take the first exit. Got first exit. Keep right. We're gonna go up here. Exit now. What well, we've got? Two hundred and four mile. Turn right. Where are we going? God, these roads are a little bit tight. Right. So this is fourth gear, foot to the floor. Let's see how well it pulls up this hill. So we know it's got a lot less horsepower than the Volvo. We know that. Keep left. But here's the thing, guys. The question to try and get people involved. Really? Are you really not gonna? Are you let me in or not? Pushback driver, man. You can tell you're in Spain. Um, question for the comment section. What is the best Mercedes to own? What's the best make? What do you reckon, you know, I'd make, but what's the best model? Let, let me know in the comments below because I'm, I don't really know, you know, like I say, I normally drive the Scania. I know a lot of people are like, oh, the Scania is the best truck, just get that. Yeah, but I'm trying to do something different than what I've done on previous old live streams, from like a year or two ago and something like that. Um, 
trying to avoid certain things and yeah let me know what you think is the best mercedes truck to own um there's no right or wrong answer everyone's got a different opinion someone might go oh the one you're in is the best um i will disagree with that one though just because of the dashboard but there might be another dashboard um you gotta remember i run out of money <laughs> i run out of money Nice. We can, uh, what's this? This is fourth gear. It has got plenty of power for the slightly smaller engine, that's for sure. Right, well, I can already see signs from on Pelly here. Keep that is right. something we're still going to be doing as well, guys. That's kind of where we're going at the moment. We're kind of just going. I suppose we don't have to do it in England, it's just England's a bit easier to do. I love them on the signs. I'll tell you that is the term. We don't get them over in England. Someone would steal the bulbs in England. <laughs> I'm joking. Someone was moaning yesterday that they'd lost an iPhone on the estate where I live. Now I live on like a... I don't... I... If you're from England, you call it like a council estate. Or a housing association or I think America you'd call it social housing I think you'd call it I got the house when I come off the army I've been here ever since my rent is £400 a month that's why I'm silly this is why we're saving like a large deposit for our when we buy a house because our rent here is our mortgage is not going to be anywhere near the price of our rent you know what I mean we might as well save as much now to save you know what I mean spent five years saving a bigger deposit and say oh well you can buy a house after a year saving yeah you can but after five years my deposit will be five times the size because my rent i know technically you've got that bit of debt money but i don't have to pay to fix this house either but there is that on the uh, on the good side of things um just one of the ways i look at it anyway you know, so it gives you a bigger deposit then you can either pay the same amount as you would with a smaller deposit over less years or you can do it over more years and just pay less so you can have a bit of a life when you're older so to speak because you know you think like you pay for a house 25 30 years depending on what kind of mortgage you get i want my mortgage done in 15. it'll be that easy my mortgage will be done in 15. that's the plan that's why we haven't bought yet we're still getting that deposit to go and as much as you're like yeah but you're paying 400 pounds a month for rent and you're still yeah, you're right, but like I say, you know, we, we want to find that right house. We found a few that we like. Um, I've actually found, I've found one in a little village about uh, four mile away from where we are. A um, little cottage, proper, like, 16th century cottage. Um, to the point where I found images, like, golden day, like, images and stuff. But it's still had a thatch room. Now it doesn't have a thatch room anymore, but you get you get the idea. And I'm I'm really really liking that one. It's a little bit, you know what I mean. Wants a bit of work, but you know the house is like the house is older than America. Let's be honest, the house is older than America. And uh, yeah, it's an old. There we go. We've got another driver income. Manuel J. He's now earning me money. Okay, he might. I know, I know everyone was like, oh, fire him. And to be fair, I was going to fire him. And then we were in a bit of a position where we didn't fire him because he was, we didn't really, mm, I don't know. Why didn't we fire him? Was it just a case of me being lazy? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I say, I, I found this cottage and I really like it. The problem is with like an old style cottage like that is there's no like yard, there's no garden or anything. And you have to think from our point of view is we've got the dog and it kind of opens up onto a main road like a big main busy road so it's not like i can just open the door and let the dog out for a quick wee because she would just go in the road she, she wouldn't just go in the road but she could go in the road and then you know she could get run over so that's probably the only downside to it but you've got to remember a, a house this old <laughs> there wasn't cars when it was built. It was that simple. Um, but yeah, it, to be fair with you, if I had an extra... To put it short, if I had an extra, like, 10... 
15 grand deposit, I probably would just go for it. The cottage side of things, I really do like it. And you know, my dog is six. Well, she's six. Is she? She's six in in a month, basically. You know, and I'm not trying to say she's getting older or like that, but she's got maybe six to eight years left. And I, I, it's like I've been talking to the dragon lady, like, it's, is it going to be worth missing out on a cottage that we both do like because of the dog that doesn't live forever? And I know that sounds awful to say, but do you, from the point of view of, can you imagine missing out on a house you really like because of the dog? Now, we'll never get rid of my dog. My dog is my best friend. She is my partner in crime. She is my dickhead. She is my dickhead. I, as soon as I said the word dick, I knew she was going to look at me. She, she is an absolute fool. She's now trying to sit under my desk because I've called her a dickhead. Um, I know I keep saying that word, but... She's a Labrador that doesn't like water. So she's already a weirdo. Um, she's a Labrador that doesn't eat everything. She's not... She's greedy, like a Labrador, but she's very picky. No Labrador is picky with what they eat. Most Labradors eat stones. <laughs> um, she doesn't like her paws being held, like most Labradors. It's just... She's just weird. She's just absolutely weird. Is there an... Uh, no, I'm going to have to stop here, aren't I? Yeah, she, she's just... She's just an absolute weirdo. But, her and my two kids with special needs, you should see her. Wouldn't change her for the world. I'm, I haven't even gone far enough here. Yeah, wouldn't change her for the world. She's absolutely fantastic. Like, my, my youngest with his autism, his best friend in real life is, is his dog. He does have friends in real life who, you know, the kids with... Oh, I don't want to say special needs, but I think the kid's got like ADHD. He, he bounces off the walls from like the minute he gets up to the minute he goes to bed. And obviously, yeah, he's him and my lad are real good friends. But in the terms of things, like because they they fall out, you know what friends are like. The 12 and 13 and stuff. You know what I mean? They they fall out. Typical typical kids. But his best friend is his dog. His dog never would never leave his side. Ever. And he knows that. And I, I think that's like the autistic side of him. He, he knows, you know, and he comes in and he bounces through the door as my lad because at like three o'clock when he comes in, dog's dog's waiting for him at three o'clock. The dog is sat behind the front door at like three o'clock, knowing by three o'clock to five past three, because the school's only like one street away. Um yeah, he's gonna come straight in, and the first thing he does, he throws his bag down, and he goes straight to the, uh, I don't want to say the word, because if I say the word, the dog's gonna come and pester me and trigger, you know, he's gonna get triggered, but, treat, you know, the biscuit word. Yeah, here she comes. She's just giving me the look of, you said the B word, give me one. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then, whenever he comes down the stairs, now he comes off his games and he comes down the stairs, she'll go and sit with him wherever he is. Now, she's the same with my eldest, who's got, like, the severe special needs. And the more, the, the, the worst case scenario with special needs is, you know, my, my eldest is, like, 18 and a half, nearly. But the educational level is about 12, 13, 14. You know what I mean? He's, he's really behind as well. Um, but he's got many issues. Like he's got heart condition. He's got autism. He's got... Well, they tried to diagnose him with ADHD, but it is isn't ADHD. He's, he's got special learning disabilities. Special learning disability? No, severe learning disability, sorry. It's because I always say special needs. Um, but most people... Yeah, most people don't have a clue what you're talking about anyway. So... But yeah, and dogs are the same with him, but the littlest always feeds him. 
the B word. <laughs> I'm just saying the B word now, because she's just going to look at me again. And it's not like I can stop driving me truck to go get a one. Do you know what I mean? The B word. But yeah, so I'm, and my little, my little and I'll go into speed loads of so yeah, basically he's bought a friendship, he's, he's bought a love, he, he's bought favouritism. <laughs> basically, that's how that's how that works. He's he's the favourite child in the dog's eye because he's the one that feeds her the most B words. <laughs> but yeah. And I can't argue, you know what I mean? Yeah. He he he's, he's stuck to it. He's part of his routine now where he does it and yeah. Uh, good for him. He's also the reason my dog's getting fat. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I do love a bit. I do love a bit of just like everyday realism chat. I really do. Um, some of the best conversations you can have. Even though people do some people aren't interested. That's on you, do you know what I mean? My my family is my world, like I don't have to record videos I could spend, like on a weekend, for example, I could just spend all weekend with my family, you know what I mean? You know, family, family always comes first, but family does make time for me to put out some videos, which is fantastic of them, you know what I mean? It's, it's great. That could be a police car behind us. Right, let's just... Right, so we do have that there. Do we have a digital speedo on this truck? Yes, we do. We have a digital speedo on this truck. For real, are you letting me in or not? So you weren't letting me in, but you were. You were letting me in, but you also weren't letting me in. Okay. Right, we do have a digital speedo on this dashboard, so that is really good. I do like it when we get the digital alert dashboards. It makes life a lot easier to uh, check things and speeds and stuff and yeah. £39 to go through the toll road. Wow, that is expensive. Jeep. Oh, I can't. I've got to stay behind this truck because my uh, my exit has arrived. Your exit has Keep arrived. Right, and then exit right. Exit right. Right, okay, for some reason, this might be a very bad episode. I've just realised my sound is playing up. I've got double sound and I don't understand why. Now, I know my talking is coming through, but I don't understand why I've got double sound coming through. Like, if I don't talk, I've got engine noise coming through twice. Now, I don't know what this is going to be like, guys. This is... Why has that happened? And why has that happened today? What the hell is going on today? I've got no idea why I'm getting double sound. I wouldn't mind, but I've literally just driven to Montpellier. And I've just realised as we arrived that I've got a sound issue. Why has that... Oh, I bet I know what it is. I downloaded some software to do voices for my roleplay series. I bet you it's changed all of my um, default stupid sound settings in OBS. I never, never once thought to check that. If this episode is echoey, guys, I do apologise. You know I don't like these kind of issues. I can't believe this has happened. I Exit genuinely now. don't get what's going on. I can only put it down to what I've just said. I'm trying to talk now to keep the echo because I know the other one will lower in volume and I'm trying to make it not echo as much. Go straight on. 
why is that done that? I can only put it, I downloaded a piece of software yesterday to bring in a new voice for the roleplay series on the farming channel. And it seems, it, I, it, I can only put it down to that. I can only put it down to the, um, At the roundabout, that software. Take the first exit. I can't put it down to anything else. Exit there, there can't now. be anything else that's cute, that's sorted that and broke that. Oh, that is not good. Right, let me just... If I lower that one, it lowers... Well, Get yeah, I know, I know exactly right. what it's done. I know exactly what it's done. Sorry, guys. If if this is echoed, I do apologise. Um, right. I won't know until I get into editing and check it. I can't miss this episode. It was an important... It was an important episode. We bought a new truck. I can't believe it's done that. Oh, I'm I'm fuming. I don't like issues, and that's something that I've done for the farming channel. I've just checked it then while that's why I was just quiet for a second. Once I parked, I just checked it then. I know exactly what it's done. It's changed my microphone setting. On my go, well, I can't I say on my go XLR. It, yeah, it basically has, and it hasn't. So what I'm gonna do for now, I'm just gonna go and lower that volume, just so it doesn't echo as much. If it echoes at all, I won't know. Until, like I say, until I've checked. This is not good. I am not happy that this has happened, but there's also nothing I can do about it. If I'd have noticed at the start, I could have fixed it, but I was. Yeah, I didn't notice it, guys. <sighs> Forgive me for the mic issues today or the echoing of the game sound. <sighs> yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm not happy. This is why I don't like messing with certain things. Like my my videos kind of always stay the same. I don't like to mess with them because if you mess with them, this happens, and it's now affected the wrong channel. But, um, yeah, as you can see, 228 miles is what we've driven because the other was done by ferry. Um, we've hit level, well, we haven't hit level 25 yet, but we're nearly there. £12,000 in the bank. Um, I am going to leave this episode here straight away so I can get on and fix these issues for the next episode. Um, as I say, I do apologise for any sound issues that may have, may have happened. I'm going to fix them right now. But for now, thank you for watching. If you've made it to the end, if there's any issues, thank you for the persevering to the end, and it will be fixed for the next episode.